Heather Wiley. For identification purposes, I work for the U.S. I work for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about what had happened here. So I found out when I was at work one day that one of my coworkers had disclaimed the entire LA River as being navigable in fact, or a traditional navigable waterway. I was extremely concerned about the carelessness in disclaiming the entire LA River and the implications that that had. So I immediately contacted the right people and got it into the hands of Henry Waxman. This river right here is the reason that Los Angeles exists. Back up a little bit, the river is a central natural fact of the LA Basin. It's a central artery of the major watershed that LA inhabits. Okay. Everyone in the country and has seen it, a lot of people in the world have seen it because it's in all so many movies and TV shows. In the 1930s, there were a couple of floods, and LA, which had been trying to solve this problem, brought in the Army Corps of Engineers, dun -dun 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 -dun, the cavalry, and they decided the way they were going to solve this problem is they were going to build a big, 51 mile culvert, basically ditch, and uh, put the river into it. So I had contacted Waxman, and immediately he had requested the EPA go ahead and special case the matter, and he made some phone calls to the Corps of Engineers. I'm the commander of the Los Angeles District. I'm an environmental engineer, and uh, you know, I have a passion for the environment. I have a passion for you know, how do we make a better uh, world, a better community. So the reason that this has some kind of importance is because there was a decision in 2006 called the Rapanos decision that made it very ambiguous in terms of what was going to remain protected under the Clean Water Act. I think the Corps of Engineers has no business deciding on land use. And then taking it back to Anthony Scalia's idea of a navigable river is only one of hundreds of mistakes by that guy. And the Corps is really kind of, I think, trapped in the middle of it. And I think that it's time for them to step back away from that, uh, take their hands off the guns, and surrender peacefully. If you pretend that this little tree here is a, um, a watershed, so you have all these little tiny tributaries in the upper watershed that drain downstream into the main branch of the tributary and out to the ocean. So if you say that the ocean is the navigable in fact water body, so that's step one is to identify where the navigable in fact water body is. Step two in making that analysis is that we have to show how this little tiny, it's called reach of creek, is affecting many, many, many miles away the ocean. The stakes are very high. We're looking at large portions of states that could lose federal protection. I think there's a, an innate appeal to this notion of you know, fighting for what people really know is theirs, but are told that it's not. I'm just a boater. My understanding as a layperson, um, boating is one of the criteria used to determine whether a river can be considered a traditional navigable waterway. Two sections of the LA River, essentially four miles, are currently considered traditional navigable waterways. But there are other fine sections of the river, like the Glendale Narrows, a seven mile stretch of rapids that are wonderful for boating, and we're trying to get access to places like that too. We're standing here in the middle of the, of the LA River. Concrete on both sides, probably a 40 feet high. That is the current state of this river, that's the way it was envisioned. Um, it was never envisioned to be a navigable uh, channel such that you could put watercraft in here. Well, here we are finally. Ultimately, we hope that this trip will raise consciousness about the LA River, perhaps touch on our ridiculous commuting situation. I feel like it's, it's just crazy to keep people from their rivers. You know, no matter the condition of the rivers, they deserve uh, a fight.
for them. And uh, if we have to take some of the brunt of that, then we're willing to do that. On your marks, get set. concerned about the designation. I found this wonderful group of people who were planning on boating down the river and I joined them for a Saturday and we demonstrated that you can in fact boat down the river. This is Levin. This is LA Levin. LA Levin. Yes sir. After that, EPA actually stepped in and special case this river. We have used our special case authority less than 10 times since 1989. This is by far the biggest situation in which we've done it. They special case that both the LA River and the Santa Cruz River and permanently took the decision making authority for which waterways will retain their clean water protections and which waterways won't away from the core and permanently put it in the hands of their own agency, the EPA. It's a river that deserves our attention, and I think this is one way that we've tried to show we are paying attention to it. The kayak trip, the regatta, the, the sail trip, whatever they called it this summer is very significant, both in terms of the way they documented it, as well as the number of people who, who boated significant portions of the river. Someone needs to clean this river up. It has so much potential. That was the um, positive thing that had happened from our boat trip and for me leaking the memo. Just the negative um, personal side effects are that after the boat trip, my supervisors had scoured the internet for pictures of me going down the river. So they found the two pictures of me and they used that to propose to suspend me for 30 days for voting on my time off protesting their decision, which of course is a complete violation of the First Amendment. Getting suspended for 30 days for kayaking on your day off seems a little, a little silly to say the least. I still have my paddle, so take it to the core. <laughs> follow through in a way that people will be happy with and hopefully it'll set the stage to protect a lot of other urban rivers that deserve the same treatment.